Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Monday Must Have. So today, I do have that video that's floating around my top three in every category. Um, so if you'd like to see my picks, most of them are drugstores, some of them are high-end, then please keep on watching. I'll have, a, have everything linked down below for you, so if you want to check any of these out. But uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty. I also do have an OnlyFans page dedicated to this channel. You can watch tomorrow's video there today for free. There's chatting, live streams, all sorts of stuff. So link is down below if you'd like to check it out. Okay, so I just have a nice, plain, simple background today. Filming in a different area. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. So uh, my top three for primer. Um, I'm definitely going to have to go with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I have the one that is, has silic, silic acid in it or whatever, the green one. I haven't tried that one yet, but their original Universal Sheer Poreless Putty Primer. I think this is a great primer. It is has a really nice kind of whipped, balmy texture. It really helps to fill in pores and even fine lines. Um, I do have Combo Skin. I'm 36, so this is for skin that might be a little too greasy sometimes skin that does have extra texture and fine lines and everything so yeah all these products really work very very nicely on my skin but yeah the elf poreless putty primer beautiful absolutely recommend it it's just so yeah i don't know how you ladies do everything with nails but it's okay but yeah it's just a really really nice sheer universal primer that i do think would work for any skin tone it doesn't leave any kind of weird um, color or anything like that so yes definitely definitely recommend this one um, if you're looking for something that's really gonna help to like fill in pores and just leave a really pretty kind of filtered effect on the skin so love this stuff the Tatcha uh, the liquid silk canvas this stuff is beautiful it almost dries down to like a powdery finish it's just so unique I absolutely love this stuff has a very very light scent to it but once again this does help to kind of fill in pores a little bit but it just gives kind of a nice luminous but not it's not too luminous it's just a really really beautiful beautiful primer it really helps my makeup to kind of grip to it but yeah it's like it feels a little bit silicone-y but it doesn't make my foundation slip and slide adds a little bit of moisture and like I said greasy t-zone and this stuff still works beautifully so yeah the touchy the tatcha the liquid silk canvas great beautiful primer really really love this stuff one that is newer to me is the wet and wild primer serum i was a little bit nervous about this one but this is a really really kind of nice thin base it just leaves a really really beautiful once again a little bit luminous very very skin like kind of effect on the skin it sinks right in uh, this stuff is just great it just once again just makes your skin ready for makeup little tiny 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 bit tacky um, but it doesn't do much for pores but once again just makeup sits beautifully on top so yeah really really nice stuff all of them except for the Tatcha um, liquid silk canvas is really really affordable um, but really really good primers foundations I have two full coverage and one medium I'm not super into like super sheer foundation because as you can see I do have a lot of like old acne scars maybe some current breakouts you know so I do like a little bit more coverage but this first one is the one that is a little bit more skin like you saw this in a video recently but it's the true match um, healthy it's the true match Lumi healthy luminous makeup this stuff is beautiful it has a very kind of skin like texture to it has a decent coverage you can build it up a little bit but it's just such a gorgeous foundation I know it looks too dark but it actually does match me but it just smooths out beautifully into the skin it just melts right in it's just so so nice it just gives you the tiniest bit of luminosity very very skin like um, so if you're just looking for an everyday, middle of the road, medium coverage, skin-like foundation, then the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation is stunning. Absolutely love it. It's great. Uh, yes, the Maybelline um, Superstay 24-hour foundation. I love this stuff. Um, I'm almost out, sadly. Almost out. But um, this is a 
full coverage foundation, but blends beautifully into the skin. As you can see, it does have a thicker texture than the tr True Match Lumi, but it's just so, so stunning on the skin. Great coverage, builds up beautifully. You can use a sponge or a brush. I prefer a brush or my little Yo Twin little makeup poof, but I wore this foundation on my wedding. That's how good it is. It is pretty transfer resistant. It stays looking fresh all day long. So yeah, um, I'm almost out. I would definitely repurchase this. It is super, super beautiful. But yes, the Super Stay Full Coverage 24 hour foundation. It's very, very nice. Definitely love it. And then lastly, the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. Um, once again, nice full coverage. I like the applicator. You don't need a ton of this. It's also great for mixing in to other foundations if you need a little bit more coverage. I need to give this a shake, it's been a minute. Um, but once again, really, really beautiful on the skin. Let me go ahead and, but yeah, super, super nice, full coverage. Um, I do prefer this one with a, I do prefer this one with a little Yo Twin Puff, but super, super nice. I love it, it's great. So those are my picks for foundation concealers. These are all drugstore. The e.l.f. camo concealer in either the original or the hydrating. Um, really, really nice as you can see. I use the heck out of these. They're like six bucks. They might have raised them to seven, but they're both really, really nice. Just so you know, the hydrating version does have like some, um, some shade discrepancies. So you might need to go a shade darker with the hydrating, but I really do like the e.l.f. camo concealer. Giant doe foot, like everyone does nowadays. Um, but really, really beautiful, beautiful coverage. It's just really, really nice. I can use it on blemishes on my skin. I can use it for under eyes. Just great. Definitely, definitely recommend. Next is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. This is probably my favorite, like, holy grail concealer if I'm having a real break it real bad breakout day, severe under eye circles like today. Um, just beautiful, beautiful coverage. Once again, giant doe foot. Um, but this stuff is just so creamy, super, super pigmented. You don't need to go in with a lot. Um, I personally don't do like the triangles. I never do, but you definitely don't need much of this. This stuff is just incredible. Full coverage, lasts all day, very crease resistant. Love it. And then lastly, the Essence Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer. I feel like so many people sleep on this concealer. It is so, so nice. Um, it does have a smaller doe foot. Looks reminds me kind of like an apple seed, but this stuff, once again, super full coverage, but it is pretty thin, but absolutely stunning, stunning coverage. Um, they don't have a huge shade range, which is unfortunate. I think they did just barely come out, maybe, five, six months ago, it's not barely. Um, they did come out with like a hydrating version of this, but super, super nice. Once again, it does kind of set to more of a matte finish, but it doesn't crease, doesn't accentuate fine lines or crepiness or anything like that. So those are my top three, four concealer. Powder, of course. So I'm trying to get through this quickly because I don't want this video to be 80 minutes long. Cody Airspun, this is like tried and true absolutely love this stuff it does have a scent so yeah it, i believe the green one if you can find it, it has green packaging instead of the orange um that stuff is scent free but you get a huge amount you do get 2.3 ounces of product compared to let's say the elf halo glow i don't know it doesn't say how much we get in here but yeah huge huge difference between you know you get a ton of products around seven dollars um, at Walmart, Amazon, stuff like that. But it gives you a nice kind of medium. It's not too matte, it's not luminous, it's just a basic powder, but it's very smoothing. It helps to like conceal my pores and stuff like that. Absolutely love the Cody Airspun powder. It's phenomenal, absolutely gorgeous. And then you already saw this, but the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. This stuff is awesome, once again, combo skin. I can get pretty greasy looking, but this gives just a beautiful skin-like finish to the skin. Um, it doesn't have glitter particles or shimmer particles in it. It's just a really nice 
healthy looking powder. It does set my makeup down all day long. Once again, super duper affordable. I love e.l.f. Um, they've really impressed me because I used to not like e.l.f. But yeah, the e.l.f. Halo Glow. It's a loose setting powder, but it just is so pretty on the skin. So definitely, definitely recommend that. If you have combo skin, normal, dry, just it's so gorgeous on the skin. So yeah. For my super oily people out there, the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is, once again, tried and true. Holy grail. Nice pressed powder. Um, I've gone through, I can't even tell you how many of these I've gone through. I always repurchase this. It is a nice matte powder without looking too crazy on the skin. Emily Noel totally describes this powder great. You go in with your brush and it never picks up too much. So I do sometimes have to layer this. I will use this when I'm exceptionally oily in my T-zone, but it just blurs and smooths and mattifies the skin. So gorgeous on the T-zone, gorgeous underneath the eyes if I'm using kind of a more emollient slash greasy concealer. This stuff is amazing. Definitely, definitely recommend it. It's great. It's like four bucks at Walmart. Super, super affordable. So yes. Bronzers. Okay, so you can never go wrong with any of the Wet n Wild bronzers. I have another one I need to try. It has like the palm tree fronds on it. But one of these is from their Fantasy Makers collection, which is just a little side gig that they do. But this bronzer, so pretty, pigmented, um, just gorgeous, absolutely stunning, smooth. Love it. This is from the Dragon collection that they did a few years ago. And once again, just a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer. They're easy to blend out. They're pigmented, but they're not gonna like freak you out or anything. They're gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Tons of different shades. So definitely recommend Wet n Wild bronzers if you haven't tried them out. Next, the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This is a waterproof matte bronzer. I think it's kind of comparable to the um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park App Princess. Slight color difference, but waterproof, very, very long lasting, matte. This stuff is just stunning. You can barely see it, but let me swatch it for you. It's just stunning. Absolutely love it. Different shades. I have it in number 22 Sun Bronze. Once again, Rimmel is so underrated when it comes to face products because absolutely love their foundations and uh, their bronzer and uh, their, yeah, their, their powder is just amazing. But yeah, this is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. As well as the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It. Once again, I'm, I don't know why, but I used to not be into luminous products, but I, I am now. I've had this one for like two years, barely have made a dent. It's just such a beautiful bronzer. It just has a touch of luminosity. It's not super duper shiny on the skin. It just looks beautiful on the skin. It looks very, very skin-like. So definitely, if you like a more luminous, skin-like finish to all of your like base products, definitely recommend the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. So, so gorgeous on the skin. Absolutely love it. Blush. So with blushes, um, I have two powder, one kind of cream. Um, the e.l.f. putty blush totally blew my mind. Um, I used to not be into like cream and liquid blushes, but this is absolutely stunning. Doesn't have the name on it. Of course it doesn't. But this is just a really, really nice creamy pigmented blush. And it can go over powder or under powder, which I personally do like. It does kind of dry down to like a powdery finish. You do have time to work with it. Ton of different shades. Um, yeah, this is stunning, and I see what all the hype was about with the Elf Putty Blush. Really, really nice. The Essence of the Blush. This is like two or three dollars. It's ridiculously cheap. Very, very simple packaging, but it is so pretty on the skin. Um, this is the shade Befitting, number 10, but it is just a really, really gorgeous blush. It's pigmented, you can build it up, but it's it's one of those blushes that is kind of like foolproof. That's why I love it so much. Thor, what's wrong? Come here. 
somebody crying. I don't think that is in the bathroom. Come on. Come on. Sorry, it's being kind of a crybaby today. Come on. Lastly, are you okay? You okay? You're fine. Um, next is the House Laboratories Head Rush. This is in Rock and Rose. This blush is so, so pretty. Oh, nice little duo comes with a highlighter, but this blush is super soft, super creamy. It's pigmented and it's just gorgeous on the skin. Once again, a whole bunch of different shades, but it's just like a very unique formula. You can barely fill it when you put your finger in it. You're like, I don't even feel like I'm picking anything up, but you are. It's not powdery, it just looks beautiful on the skin. Yeah, if you can find the Head Rush little duos um, on sale from House Laboratories, definitely recommend picking one of them up to try because once again, full-size blush, full-size highlighter, stunning. Okay, so next we have highlighters. This was hard, but anyway, my very first one is the Catrice Sungasm. This is gigantic. You do get 0.98 ounces. It's almost a full ounce of product. It's ridiculous, um, but this is just an absolutely beautiful, pretty universal highlighter. Um, you can definitely build it up. You can go really, really sheer with it, but it's just stunning. It's just out of this world beautiful. And it's $10, but you'll have it for like the rest of your life. That's how large it is. You don't need a ton. It's not powdery, it blends into the skin beautifully. So definitely recommend the Catrice Sungasm highlighter gorgeous. Kind of cheated on this next one. I'm just going to say any Wet n Wild highlighter. I just picked up, like grabbed from my stash, this is the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder and this is in Written in the Stars. Any, any Wet n Wild highlighter you pick up, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. They have great loose ones, pressed ones. They have the new blush, blush lighters or whatever where they kind of come with a blush and a highlighter and like a split pan. But I mean, you'll never be disappointed when it comes to a Wet n Wild highlighter. Super affordable, but they are like out of this world stunning. Like out of this world and like huge container of loose highlighter. Once again, never gonna get through this in my lifetime. And this one you do get 0.28 ounces of the loose highlighter, but it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Any white and wild highlighter, you're gonna be good. And I also cheated with this one as well, but any Ofra highlighter. I love Ofra highlighters. Um, I have quite a few. I like stocking up or getting one I maybe don't have when they do have a sale. Um, but this is their new packaging, but I still have their old packaging as well. But this is in the shade Retrograde. So it's a nice split pan, but their highlighters are a like liquid formula that they bake and they're just so smooth and like just absolutely, sorry, these two fingers, they're just absolutely beautiful. I mean, I don't think anyone that tries a over highlighter, I don't think they're ever disappointed. They're just so ethereal. You can build them up. You can wear them really, really natural where they just Kind of soak directly into the skin and it just looks like it's coming from within so any Oprah highlighter if you have the money if they have a sale um, yeah you're gonna be good because they're stunning stunning highlighters so yes Oakley Doakley moving right on eye primers the Ofra um, eye gel primer love this stuff this is a holy grail a little bit pricey this is my last tube but if I need something that's gonna stay put all day long, not going to like do any kind of creasing or anything like that, fading the Ofra Eye Gel Primer. Absolutely stunning, definitely recommend. Chef's Kiss Amazing, that's how much I love this stuff. The um, NYX Glitter Primer, once again, nice, really, really nice um, primer. It's super sticky, so any shimmer that you put on top of this is just gonna pop. Absolutely love this. I will always have a tube of this because yeah, if I'm using uh, glitter or any type of shipper, I do think that putting it on top of this is stunning. So really, really nice. And then the ELF All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer. This stuff is a little balmy, 
you can't make the mistake of using too much or it's really gonna cause creasing and sliding. But if you just use just a tiny bit and get it really, really blended, it's kind of comparable to the Ofra um, eye gel primer. But yeah, the e.l.f. Um, All Day Stay eyeshadow primer is really good. You just can't use a ton, so yeah. We're almost done, guys, almost done. Eyeshadow palettes. This was hard because I'm an eyeshadow palette junkie. That's like, out of all my stuff in my makeup collection, that's what I have the most of. I just love eyeshadow palettes, but I did pick three. Yes. So the um, Profusion Minimalist Palette. This is just a really, really gorgeous, neutral, like kind of a more natural toned palette. You got a few pops of color, like with like the gl pressed glitters. But it's just a really easy kind of everyday palette. You can go really, really light and neutral. You can go a little bit warm. There are some nice cool tones in there. You can go dark because there's a really nice black. But this is just a really, really nice everyday kind of palette. Uh, 35 shades, cruelty free. All of Profusion's eyeshadow palettes I've never been disappointed with. They're super, super good, um, but really, really nice palette. So if you were looking for a nice fall palette or if you're just getting into makeup, definitely recommend the Minimalist palette. It's like $13, super, super affordable. And uh, once again, super, super, I mean, beyond pigmented. They're just really, really nice. So definitely, definitely recommend. Um, so I'll just go ahead and swatch that there because I'm gonna need to go wash anyway, but really, really nice. Okay, so next is a newer thing to my collection, but it's the Wet n Wild Wild Heart Artistry Palette. 32 shades, and this blew my mind. Really, really gorgeous mattes, beautiful shimmers. Once again, this is kind of a one and done palette. If you don't have a lot of makeup, or if you're trying to just get into makeup, or you're looking for a gift, yeah, this palette is perfect for pretty much anybody. Really, really nice array of shades. Um, very, very pigmented. Shimmers are really nice. I have their other large palette from like holiday season two years ago. It was okay. The formula was different from their regular 10 pan palettes, but this is, I think, even a better formula than their five and 10 pan palettes. They're just really, really nice. Love this. Super, super affordable as well. It's like $14, so it's gorgeous. And next, just a little tiny baby one, any of the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadows. This is in Cream and Sugar, but once again, if you're just a minimalist, uh, you don't want a huge palette like those two. These are absolutely beautiful. This one has two mattes, two shimmers, super pigmented. I mean, I don't think anybody would be disappointed with these. They're just, sorry, the black is from the Profusion. But yeah, really, really nice pigmented shadows. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Definitely seems like a higher end shadow quad, but they're stunning. All of them are stunning. So the Elf Bite Size Shadow Palettes, you'll be good to go. Eyeliners. Okay, so I got two liquid, one pencil. So the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof um, Eyeliner, I know this went like crazy on TikTok. I did get to try it before it went crazy on TikTok, but it's a really, really nice liner. It does have, I believe it's a brush tip. Yeah, it is a brush tip. Um, which I actually prefer felt tip, but this is really, really nice still. Super, super pigmented. Dries down very, very quickly. Dries down matte. It's beautiful. This is in brown, um, but it is gorgeous. Absolutely, definitely recommend it. The next uh, liquid liner is from the Dollar Tree. It's the Ellie Colors Eye Marker. This is a nice felt tip, and it is super, super pigmented. It is black, it doesn't bleed or feather, and it stays put all day long. Absolutely love this, and it's a buck. I mean, it's great. Great, great, great. Absolutely, definitely recommend the LA Colors Eye Marker. You can get it at Dollar Tree, but you can see how black it is. Super, super pigmented. And then my pencil one is the Pixie um, Endless Silky Eye Pen. These do set down, they are pretty waterproof. Um, but I do like to use these like in my waterline. This is a nice, pretty kind of bronzy taupe shade, but they last all day long. I've got quite a few shades, but they're just so 
pretty. You do have a little bit of time to like kind of blend them out if you want it like a smoky liner, um, but really, really pretty. Definitely, definitely recommend. Okay, so eyebrows. Two eyebrow pencils and an eyebrow gel. So of course the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. These are great. They're like three bucks. I think everyone has tried it probably, but really, really good pencil. It isn't too waxy, it isn't too creamy. Um, it's like that perfect middle of the road dryness where you can draw on skin if you need to, like I need to, and it stays all day long. Really nice spoolie on the end. Love this stuff. Another one that is a holy grail that I still love. It's the Maybelline, um, it's the twin. Like, I can't, like, it's so faded. But anyway, this is just the old fashioned red pencil. You can use it as liner or for eyebrows. Once again, this stays put all day long. It's that perfect middle of the road dryness where I can draw my skin and it's going to like stay. I mean, it's perfect. Love this one. And then for the um, eyebrow gel, it is the NYX The Brow Glue. I love this stuff, sorry. You can see mine's kind of turned a little bit brown because I do use it after I do my eyebrow pencil, but this stuff will make your brows stay all day long. Um, I don't have a ton of brow hair, as you can kind of tell, but I can push what I do have all the way up so I can get that more feathered, bushy brow, and it will stay all day long. It's just out of this world good, super affordable as well, and uh, definitely worth it. You don't need very much, so even though it looks like a really small little tube, you don't need a ton. And uh, the brush is like itty bitty baby brush, like crazy small, but it's perfect for really getting into those roots of your brows and you can really make them like stay put all day long. So love it. Okay, mascara was a little bit hard because I have a ton of mascaras, but any of the L'Oreal Voluminous mascaras, this is the Carbon Black, but I love these, absolutely love these. The original is really, really good. Um, I've tried a lot of different versions of the L'Oreal Voluminous, but it's got that really nice just teddy bear brush. It stays put all day long. I don't have to worry about it smudging or flaking, even though it's not waterproof. I love the Carbon Black. It is so black and beautiful. Really easy to get all the way into the roots of your lashes. Uh, any of the Voluminous um, mascaras, but I love the Carbon Black. So stunning. Um, the Essence of Bye Bye Panda Eyes, totally, yeah, this name is adorable and it's really, really true. Um, once again, it has a nice kind of um, teddy bear brush. I, I need to get rid of this, it's dried up and old, but really, really nice brush. It doesn't smudge, doesn't flake, but it's easy to remove. This is just a really, really nice mascara. I don't like the Princess Mascaras from Essence, but the Bye Bye Panda Eyes is a holy grail. That, that good. It even worked through the summer, so love this stuff and this is a newer one to my collection but it's the wet n wild big papa this is just a little baby sample but oh my gosh this mascara is so good um once again it does have that like kind of teddy bear brush when i'm done with mascaras like i've weeded out my collection um, i'm gonna be purchasing a full size but it just makes your lashes voluminous and long and it stays all day long no smudging that's pretty important to me is no smudging or flaking, but yeah, Big Papa Mascara from Wet n Wild. They did a really, really good job on it. Absolutely love it. Okay, we just got two more categories and we are done. Lipsticks. I got one li liquid lipstick and then two bullets. So of course I have to choose the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Um, these are stunning, like 16 hour uh, wear time. People always ask, like, or say, oh, I don't like it because it's sticky and it doesn't dry. You need to go in with a very, very thin layer. Um, so you just apply it to the bottom lip. So don't re-dip or anything. I actually clean off my little applicator too. Apply it to the bottom lip, press your lips together to transfer, and then just even out the top lip, even out whatever you need to do, and don't like do anything with your mouth, okay? So I kind of like just sit here and like, and let it dry, it takes a few minutes, but then you're good to go. So don't do too thick of a layer. Don't go over and like reapply on top, don't layer. And you need to wait for it to dry. But yeah, absolutely love the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks, mask proof, stays put all day long, comfortable. You know, I do love this stuff. Of course, 
could be a must-have video without the Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks. This is in Rose Velvet. I love their lipstick formula. I have the Shine, the Matte, the Sheer, uh, Cream. I have a whole bunch of different ones. They're just beautiful. My lips are super crusty, but watch. This is a cream. They're moisturizing. Even the matte ones are moisturizing. And they're just beautiful. They're just beautiful on the lips. They really help to kind of, they almost like float on top where it doesn't emphasize like lines or cracks in the lips. They're just beautiful, super affordable, a ton of different shades. But yeah, if you're looking for a really, really good lipstick, the Revlon Super Lustrous, whatever formula you like, they're great. And of course, this is newer to me, but it's the Burt, Burt's Bees um, lipsticks. I love these. I've got quite a few, but they're just so, so nice. I like the actual package where the, like, the little casing is higher, so it's really going to help to prevent your lipstick from maybe, like, breaking or anything. But they're just really nice. They're moisturizing. They're comfortable. They're pigmented. They're a little glossy. They're just gorgeous. Absolutely love these. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of Burt's Bees stuff is hit or miss, but their lipsticks in this kind of packaging, really, really nice. I've got five or six. They're beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. So yeah. Lip glosses. I'm not a huge lip gloss fan. I just am not. Um, but I absolutely really love the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Glosses. I've got four, I believe, three or four. It's just the old fashioned squeezy tube, but they're so pretty on the lips. They're gorgeous by themselves. They're gorgeous over lipsticks, but they really do have a slightly minty kind of thing going on. So a little bit plumping. They don't dry your lips out. They just look so pretty. I love that you can just like, you don't even have to look. You can just, you know, squeeze it out. It has that really nice like little slant tip to it. It smells a little bit minty, but I love these. They're great. So if you haven't tried the So Juicy glosses from ColourPop, they are great. Really, really like them. Um, the NYX Butter Gloss. Yeah, these are like old school favorite. I know why. They are pigmented. They're glossy. They aren't sticky. They really kind of adhere to the lips. This is in the shade Ginger Snap. They're just really, really nice. Once again, very, very smoothing on the lip. Really, really beautiful. Really nice kind of light scent to it. So yeah, I really, really like the Butter Glosses. There are a ton of different shades. Whatever shade you get, you're gonna like because they're just, they're that great. Um, a lot of times I will wear these by themselves because they are so pigmented, but that's just me. And then lastly, we have the, this is the Revlon um, Super Lustrous Lip Gloss Apple. I love Revlon Super Lustrous products. This is just a really, really, really nice kind of sheer, thin gloss. And it's just like that regular gloss. It's so, so pretty. It's not sticky on the lips. It's right there. But it's just super, super shiny. It gives you like a nice glass shine. I absolutely love this gloss. Super affordable. For someone that doesn't like gloss, these three glosses are kind of my go-to because, yeah, I just don't like gloss. I don't like that sticky, heavy feeling on my lips. But this is great. But anyway, there we go. We are done. I actually had to like, my my camera's like, nope, you exceeded your file size. I'm like, awesome. So I just had to kind of restart. So sorry if there's a little bit of a jump cut. But anyway, there we go. Those are my top three in every category. I know I didn't do like setting sprays or lip liners. I don't use those all the time. So that's why I didn't use them. That's why I didn't really say them. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy today's video. I'm sorry it's like super duper long. If you did enjoy today's video go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, I will link some of this stuff down below there's no way I'm gonna be able to do all of it because Sean's recovering from surgery here um, and uh, soon so um, we're getting ready for surgery his surgery is on the end of the month so anyway I will oh, I just got lip gloss in my hair anyway I'll go ahead and link down what I below I can but uh, let me know down below in the comments what are some of your top three favorites in each category like, I would love to know down below. And just so you know, I do have an eBay page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. I also have a little Facebook group where we get together and we share memes, new looks, hauls, pet pictures, all sorts of stuff. So link is down below for those two things. And of course, you're more than welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all up budget glam, babe. 
don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start out of playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec. 